there's a lot of interest in, in robotic cystectomy right now. Um, that's something that we do, and, and I think in, in general the field is moving in that direction, especially with um, doing intracorporeal uh, urinary diversions, getting, getting more established and people getting more comfort with that. Um, there's a couple of big trials uh, ongoing about that. Uh, the AUA last week, there were some results presented uh, from the RAZOR trial that are promising and encouraging. What they don't do is they don't show any significant benefits over complications. They, they seem to appear to be equivalent or, or, or not inferior in terms of, of, of oncologic outcomes. Um, the, the biggest benefits come in blood loss and, and maybe in, in hospital length of stay. Um, uh, and then the second thing I'd, I'd mention is that there's a big push for early recovery after surgery protocols. Um, we certainly have one. Most centers that are doing cystectomies have those, and, and those have definitely shown to, to um, reduce uh, um, hospital lengths of stay um, and may have some impact on complications, but it, but it remains a very morbid procedure. Um, the last thing that I think a lot of, there's a lot of interest around very, very early is around getting um, wearable sensors um, and seeing if fitness trackers or some kind of wearable devices will give us an idea of who's getting in trouble after surgery earlier so we can intervene before they, before they have to be readmitted or have a major complication.